Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to look at some inequalities that involve absolute value symbols. And we're starting out with two very simple examples to show you the methodology of how to solve these kind of problems. First, let's look at the left side. We can see that the absolute value of x is going to be less than or equal to 4. So that means if x is a positive number, it's somewhere between 0 and 4, including 4. But if x is a negative number, well, the absolute value sign makes it back into a positive number. And again, you want that number to be somewhere between 0 and 4, but on the negative side, which means that this translates into negative 4 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to positive 4, which places the value of x between negative 4 and positive 4. So for all values of x between negative 4 and positive 4, when you take the absolute value of it, it will be less than or equal to 4. That's good. What about if the absolute value of x is greater or equal to 4? Well, that means 5, 6, 7, and 8. But what if x is a negative number? What if x is negative 5? Well, when you take the absolute value of it, it becomes a positive 5, which is bigger than 4 again, which means here that x can be greater than or equal to 4, or x can be less than or equal to negative 4. Because if x is like negative 5, the absolute value becomes 5, it's bigger than 4. So that's how you can translate this kind of inequality into this, and this kind of inequality into this. So the solution then to this inequality is, when we draw the number line, and we have the two limiting values. If this is 0, this is 4, and this is negative 4, we do include the endpoints because the equal sign is right there, so we can draw solid circles. And we're looking for all values between, which means this region right here, not including the region out there. In that case, we do the same thing. We draw the number line. Here's the number 0, here's the number 4, here's the number negative 4. Again, we do include the endpoints because the equal sign right there, but in this case, we only want the values that are bigger or equal to 4, which is everything to the right of 4, and we're looking for the values that are smaller than negative 4, which means everything to the left of negative 4. And that's how you solve these type of inequalities that have absolute value signs. You simply translate from there to there, and from there to there. In the next videos, we'll show you something a little bit more complicated, but the methodology will be exactly the same. You'll see when you watch. That's how you do it.